Last year, the Argentine photographer Marcelo Brodsky and the Mexican-American writer and scholar Elan Stavans decided to produce a fotonovela, a style of photographic comic book that was once a beloved form of entertainment throughout the Spanish-speaking world. The story is set in the historically Jewish Onse neighborhood of Buenos Aires in the hours leading up to the infamous 1994 bombing of the Amia Jewish community building. Well, a photo novella is a, is a form very popular in the Spanish-speaking world that is, in contemporary terms, a graphic novel, but not done with illustrations, but with a photographer that uh, recreates the scenes, a kind of a stilled movie. Very exciting. When I was growing up, again, those were uh, forms of escape, uh, sheer entertainment, never political. Then, somehow, the soap operas of the television took that space from the popular, let's say, reader, and it became more of a cult uh, genre. But uh, now we are trying to rescue that genre with its somehow reinterpretation. I have had the idea of doing a photonovela for quite some time. I would say probably since I saw my father, a soap opera actor, doing one of them. It's an essay on, on the medium, and on, on the medium of literature, and in the middle of photography and under one of the possible combinations. It was so interesting as a writer to visualize the connection as it was taking shape of text and image intertwined. And that's something that I've been fascinated in the last few years. It deals with the 1994 terrorist attacks in Buenos Aires at the AMIA, the Jewish Community Center. And so this is a way to uh, return to a very traumatic moment in Jewish Latin American history. It all takes place in El Once, the Jewish, really multi-ethnic neighborhood of Buenos Aires where all the immigrants have arrived since the end of the 19th century. I had never spent uh, so much time in Once before. I spent four full days shooting. Uh, Ilan was dressed as a rabbi, I was the photographer shooting another photographer. I appear in some of the scenes as an actor as well. There is a very intense interaction with the neighborhood. It's a very particular community with a lot of Orthodox Jews and a lot of commerce and shops and, and lots of action happening. It was a completely different uh, experience for me of my own town. It's the story of how the, a photographer can change or not a certain event that is about to take shape it, because he is a witness and by being a witness he is also a participant. The character, Roli Gerchunov, a photographer, doesn't even know what's happening, doesn't even know that that is a, a fateful day. He has his camera, he's on a freelance assignment and as he is wandering around he comes across a number of crucial characters, some of them Orthodox Jews, some people that work in the place, shop owners, and he also sees some in his eyes suspicious types that make him feel that there's some sort of threat. I'm hoping that the grimness, the kind of lowbrow pop element will be there, but at the same time pushed into another dimension. There's a lot of violence uh, present in our society and I am interested in dealing with it. I'm bringing it to discussion with the work in different ways. In this photonovela, it is really a story of otherness. Others that don't quite see face to face, Jews that have been in Argentina for over a century that still feel not fully integrated, nor, uh, not Argentine enough. And then others that see these Jews as, as potential targets because they themselves don't fit in as well in that environment. Art helps bring the issues. It doesn't solve them. And I believe that this is an attempt to bring the issue again to Argentina and elsewhere because the books have feet, the books walk, the books have their own paths. And therefore, uh, I believe that uh, it is an interesting way of bringing uh, the issues back.